Hey Sagittarius, good morning. Good morning. And uh, someone had asked about personals and um, I am doing personals this weekend. The only thing with personals now is that, you know, um, just for this short period of time while I'm having treatment, uh, the return is like, uh, 24 to 48 hours. You know, I am one who used to always get people their readings when they buy their booked or scheduled time, but, um, it can be up to 48 hours from your scheduled time, um, because I'm just moving a little bit slower. That's all. That's all, y'all. So, yeah. And it, it really doesn't matter what day you book it for either. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay. So look, God, I love, I love Oracle cards. So first off, we're doing like, this can be a sit situations that are coming up for you. Um, maybe it's for you. Maybe it's not. We all know how that works, but this first situation really feels like a love situation oh my goodness i mean it just feels like and this could be someone that you're dealing with right now it could be because it doesn't it doesn't have that uh it could be anyone to be honest but I will tell you that they may be reaching out to you in, in a romantic way. But what Spirit is saying and, and saying something very specific about this person. And that is that they have not... <laughs> you know how sometimes we need to take a lesson, right? It's not that... I'm, I'm, I don't want to say that this person hasn't changed, but I want to say that this person does not realize the work that they need to do. Um, specifically because we have the wheel of karma here, which we can look at that as the wheel of fortune if you would like to, you know, but it is karma, dharma, destiny, cause and effect. And it just feels like this person does not face the work that they need to do. Now they may want to um, be involved with you or part of like, uh, part of what's going on is how they feel, like they feel overwhelmed, you know, and, um, and it's part of why they're making this overture to you. Now, if this is someone currently in your life, it, it, you know, it really just is that this person has work that they need to do. Okay, spiritual work, internal work, and they don't look at it. Like specifically, if there are things they need to go through or to let go of, they're not looking at it. You know, they just keep feeling like, you know, because they feel like things are so out of control, but with you, they don't, it's kind of like that, like, um, they feel like if, if they're with you, that things will be better, but it, there's a certain amount of delusion with this person. You know, and, and a lot of times I feel like I hope, and I hope this is being clear because God knows I have chemo brain. Um, but it's kind of like this person won't face their own stuff. And we all like, we do grow relationally. We, we definitely do. But we also have to go through our own stuff. No one can do that for us. And because this person is feeling powerless in their life, or with something, you know, they think by like having this romance that will make things okay for them, but it it's not. They have some stuff that they need to do. 
It's a lot going on with people and Anamkara. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I think that's Celtic. Um, and the Celtic name for a spiritual partner or like it can really be a friend. Like it's just a really tight bond that you have with someone. I feel like, and we saw this yesterday, something about a close friend, you know, really making you feel good. You know, definitely. Um, and it, it's kind of like there's someone. Now, it could be romance because there's romance on this card. You know, so it could really be saying that there's someone who is knows what they're doing because fishing pole is someone reliant. You know, who is coming in and offering you, you know, good times. And, you know, because I don't feel like it's this this first row at all. I don't. This is someone that you don't have to sacrifice yourself for. And that's nice. But there's also this thing happening where, you know, it's like... Uh, you have to sacrifice maybe a need for perfection. Maybe the way that you see a partner isn't exactly, you know, you have to let that go. You have to let go this, I don't know, it's, it's just really perfection. And maybe that's you, Sag. Like, maybe that's like... You know, you don't always have to be the one and you don't have to sacrifice in relationships. And maybe that's something that you've been learning. And to be honest with you, I feel like there's someone coming into your life. That's going to be pretty powerful. And so this is confusing because this does feel like different people. It definitely does. And in our next part, we're going to go over some general energies for the day. Okay, Sagittarius, you know what we do for the weekend. We will be looking at that love confusion in the extended, <laughs> for sure. Um, but the overall energy is really about balance. Um, and you may be focusing a lot of energy on something specific and really knowing that you need to also focus your energy on other things so there's that you know but i don't know it just feels like you maybe need to make a decision because we're always also seeing uh the queen of swords and you know, you're making a decision about a relationship or a partnership. It could also be business. Okay, so keep that in mind. The Two of Cups does also represent friendships and partnerships, even business partnerships. Um, I do feel like this may be something that has been up in the air. You know? So, I mean, your energy is the Four of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. I mean, I, I kind of feel like this is just wanting to move forward. You know, specifically if you've put off some sort of decision. You know, um, waiting for something to happen. You know, I, I and whatever that is for you, Sagittarius, I mean... That can be anything. And there's just a sense of, you know, not waiting anymore because things need to get moving. So, you know, Eight of Pentacles, you may be taking care of details in that regard or working hard towards that. It's really interesting because there's a lot of pages. A lot of pages, such. Which isn't necessarily you you know because what you want to do is the page of pentacles 
you want to grow, you want new opportunities, you, you know, you may be looking into specific opportunities. And it does seem like there's a lot of chatter, <laughs> you know, uh, we're seeing three pages, a lot of chatter and not enough information was really what I was feeling. So, you know, and this may be about a specific opportunity for you. Who knows? But the thing is, is like, with the Two of Wands, the Hierophant, and the King of Cups, it, it just kind of feels like, in terms of some opportunities, there's some unreliability in it like that can be unreliable unreliable people that type of thing and it feels to me as if you may be going outside of this like taking all the information into account but you know I could just kind of feel like you feel like it's immature or you know not enough or underdeveloped and so it does feel as if you seek out this information yourself maybe you know through someone who does it already because we're seeing the hierophant and the king of cups here someone more mature you know higher institutions you know it's 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 really interesting yeah, because more, I just kind of feel like you're feeling very wary about, there's more pages, whether or not um, the people who are involved now, perhaps, will do the work, or, you know, Six of Pentacles. You know, and and it's not the time for you anymore to do all the work. And whatever it is, you know, relationships, you know, you are looking for this. You're looking for commitment. You're looking for stability. And you, like, what was showing up is pages. You know, and pages aren't all that. Not what we want to see. And, I mean, this isn't a love reading per se, but... You know, there's just something very lacking and incomplete about what's being shown to you. Okay, okay. Uh, let's take a look at some other things. Like, what is supporting you this weekend, Sag? What is supporting Sagittarius this weekend? What is supporting Sagittarius? Ew. Oh, okay. The lovers. Opportunities for love, Sag. Let's take a look. Temperance. Oh. Some of y'all, I don't know if you're doing reconciliation. Interesting. Oh, the plot thickens. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Some of you, I feel like you're ending something. Um, particularly, you may be ending something that was committed for you. Something you thought was committed. You're making a... a a call like a hard call um you know maybe look at this 10 10 10 and judgment like it just wasn't you know didn't turn out the way that you want it like specifically if some of you like um if you had actually considered reconciliation with someone um i kind of feel like you're not doing it You know, because it, it does feel as if whatever was standing in the way, and this really could be other people, 
is still an issue. Wow. Okay, Sarge. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the challenge is. And, you know, like the lovers is also making a choice. So that's like making the choice that you're not going to deal with that anymore. <laughs> you know that you're going to, you know, keep it stepping. And that's not on positive, Sag. I know a lot of people will see endings as, you know, choosing to not be in pain or let people hurt you is not negative. It is the most positive. So what is the challenge this weekend? Oh, there's the lovers again. What's the challenge? Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, temperance. And I know this won't be for everyone for sure. Um, the lovers and the four of Pentacles. The challenge is letting it go. I feel like, and letting go the thought process that it could work because there's this, you know, this is my soulmate aspect, but, um, dudes, we have, we have a lot of soulmates. Yeah. Look at this 10 of wands, ace of wands and the six of swords. Like it's just time, time for something else, time to do something for yourself. Um, new passions, you know, and understand that this actually is holding you back, you know, mm. but you know, the decision is not easy. And so it might, for whoever this is for, it might take you a little bit of time and give yourself the time, give yourself the time, you know, we, we got time. Life is long. Everyone talks about life is short. No. Life is long. 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 So let's take a look at what your... Uh... No, those are love cards. Animal spirits. Let's see what they have to say to you. You know, I hope that doesn't cause anyone to be angry or upset. It just is... There are some people out there that's going to affect this weekend. Seems to be a lot going on in the area of relationships. So, okay then, right? <laughs> what do you want to tell Sagittarius? Okay, right quick. Guidance. It is time to release your passions, live your dreams, and begin a new chapter. You are encouraged to expand your awareness, eliminate fears, and become a whole new person. Okay. Anything else? Oh, apparently. Balance is here too. Strength. Um, you know, stand up for yourself. And it's kind of saying standing up for yourself, you will be supported. And letting go, particularly if you've been, you know, um, fighting against change, because it will bring you balance. And then new beginnings and scorpion. Yeah, it's like the final push of, of uh, Scorpio, right? Because we're going to go into Sag season soon. And I'm going to try um, to do the birthday thing again. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll talk more about that soon. But that's what I have for you. Maybe I'll see you in the extended. Maybe I won't. Toodles.